जय हिंद टुडे वी विल डिस्कस करंट अफेयर्स ऑफ 27 जुलाई टू 2 अगस्त 2020 एज यूजुअल द फाइव सेट ऑफ क्वेश्चंस विल कम टू योर स्क्रीन यू विल गेट द टाइम टू सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चंस एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल डिस्कस ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चंस विद सम एडिशंस सो हियर आर द फाइव क्वेश्चंस ऑन योर स्क्रीन नंबर वन बेस्ड ऑन इंपोर्टेंट डेट्स इंटरनेशनल टाइगर्स डे इंटरनेशनल टाइगर्स डे इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन 29 जुलाई नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड हेपेटाइटिस डे वर्ल्ड हेपेटाइटिस डे ऑब्जर्व ऑन 28 जुलाई नेक्स्ट हिरोशिमा डे दैट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन 6 अगस्त Next comes Nagasaki Day. Nagasaki Day it is observed on 9th August. So please write down some additional question related to International Tiger Day. International Tiger Day, please note down Project Tiger. 1973 it is started. Project Tiger. and first time international tigers day was uh, was started 2010 in st petersburg tiger summit st petersburg tiger summit first time international tigers day it is observed so tiger census another important question tiger census are done after the gap of 4 years every 4 years tiger census are conducted first time 2006 it is uh, tiger census was done 2006 the total number of wild cats are in india it is 1411 1411 again in 2010 2010 it is the number it is uh, increased 
that is 1706 that is 2010 in 2014 again four years after 2014 the total tigers are triple to six triple to six and latest 2018 tiger census the data was revealed or released on 2019 the total tigers again it is increased in india that is 2967 2000 tiger census the total number of tigers are there in india that is 2967 2967 total 70 percentage of wild cats are there in india if we compare to total world so we can please note down Another important info, Quit India Movement. Quit India Movement, it is uh, observed on August 8 and 9, 1942, where Gandhiji given do or die. Another very important question for railways, that is, who is the queen of Quit India Movement or heroine of Quit India Movement? That is Aruna Asaf Ali. Aruna Asaf Ali. You can please note down, Aruna Asaf Ali. Queen of Quit India Movement and she was also Delhi's first man. Delhi's first man. Question number two. Based on important designs, it is borrowed from which countries? Let's see. Rafael. Last week it is in news. Rafael that is brought from France. Next comes Harpoon Missile. Harpoon Missile that is borrowed from US. Next comes S-400 missile, S-400 missile, that is from Russia. Next comes Barak-8, Barak-8, that is borrowed from Israel. Next, question number 3, based on important appointments, persons holding important positions. Let's see, Hardik Saha, Hardik Saha recently appointed as Private Secretary to PM. It's not sector Secretary. Next, Razi Topno. Razi Topno. It is Senior Advisor to World Bank. Senior Advisor to World Bank. Executive Director. Executive Director. Next come Thierry Bolero. Thierry Bolero recently appointed CEO, Chief Executive Officer of Jaguar Land Rover. Jaguar Land Rover. Next comes Tusar Mehta. Tusar Mehta, Solicitor General of India. Solicitor General of India. So you can write down important info related to Tusar Mehta, second highest law officer in the country. Second highest law officer in the country and appointed for term three years. Three years. Please remember, three years is the term. Solicitor General. Okay. Next comes, please note down, Jaguar Land Rover. Jaguar Land Rover. It is a British multinational automotive company. It is a British multinational automotive company. Headquarter, it is Coventry, United Kingdom. Headquarter, Coventry, United Kingdom. Next. Question number 4. States are given rivers accounted for flood. Last week, again, flood situation it is occurred, it is natural calamity. So, let's see. Bihar, it is Kosi River. Next comes Assam, it is, it is which river creates flood? Brahmaputra River. Next, Uttarakhand. The disaster which is occurred 2013, North India flood, Uttarakhand, that is Mandakini River. Mandakini River. Next comes Kerala. Kerala, the flood situation is because of Perrier River and also note down Iduki River. So, this is the answer. Next comes question number 5. Question number 5 related to dams and where it is, in which state it is located or flowing and let us discuss. Mulla Perrier Dam. Mulla Perrier Dam, it is uh, in Kerala. 
नेक्स्ट कम्स महात्मा गांधी सेतु महात्मा गांधी सेतु दट इज एंड बिहार नेक्स्ट नगार्जुन सागर डैम नगार्जुन सागर डैम इट इज एंड आंध्र प्रदेश नेक्स्ट कम्स सरदार सरोवर डैम सरदार सरोवर डैम इट इज एंड गुजरात so you can note down interesting fact related to question number 5 that is mulla periyar dam which river related periyar river which river both state and river important for exam point of view so please note down mulla periyar dam that is periyar river mahatma gandhi setu mahatma gandhi setu that is uh, ganga river is the source river ganga nagarjun sagar dam that is krishna river that is Krishna River. The next comes Sardar Sarovar Dam, that is Narmada River. Longest dam in India, that is Hirakku Dam. The source river Mahanadi. You can note down also. So this is all about question number one to five. Thank you very much. number 6 expand the following terms ncw national commission for women national commission for women next comes ngo non governmental organization non governmental organization next comes seva self employed women's association self employed women's association next comes bbbp that is beti bachao beti padhao yojana beti bachao beti padhao yojana next comes ssy sukanya samriddhi yojana or we can call sukanya samriddhi account all these schemes based on women upliftment 
so let us write down some additional related to ncw please note down national commission for women 1992 it is started this commission delhi is the headquarter and write down chairman of ncw rekha sharma rekha sharma next comes seva that is self employed women's association 1972 it is set up and who is the president of seva that is ila bhat ila bhat next write down bbbp that is beti bachao beti padhao okay so this scheme basically launched on 22 january 2015 22 january 2015 and basically this campaign it's to improve the efficiency and to provide welfare service to the women those who are the adolescent women to provide education to promote education next comes ssy that is sukanya samriddhi yojana or sukanya samriddhi account we can say and this scheme is also launched on 22 january 2015 22 january 2015 basically the scheme is all about saving scheme for girl children saving scheme for girl children the next question number 7 based on defense rafel will be the part of indian air force number 17 squadron of indian air force which is also known as panthers sword arms golden arrows black cobras and answer it is golden arrows golden arrows so write down some additional questions related to question number 7 panthers it is number 23 squadron of indian air force and uh, very important info you can write down here that is abani chaturvedi abani chaturvedi first indian woman fighter pilot abani chaturvedi please write down first indian woman fighter pilot to fly solo and what he fly that is mig 21 Pisan, MIG MiG 21 Pisan fighter aircraft. So Abani Chaturvedi from Panthers, number 23 squadron of Indian Air Force. Next comes Sword Arms. Sword Arms as option B is given. Sword Arms. Write down number 51 squadron of Indian Air Force and Wing Commander. Wing Commander Abhinandan Vartman. Abhinandan Vartman. was belong to this squadron number 51 squadron of indian air force sword arms and uh, wing commander abhinandan vartman also awarded with veer chakra also awarded with veer chakra that is india's third highest war time gallantry medal veer chakra third india's third highest war time gallantry medal Parambir Chakra. You can remember Parambir Chakra. It is first highest war time gallantry medal, but uh, he was awarded with Veer Chakra. Next comes question number eight. Recently, the FDI limit FDI stands for Foreign Direct Investment FDI limit for NRIS non-resident Indians to invest in Air India. Air India. has been increased to that is 100 percent yes answer it is 100 percent yes next question number 9 which of the following company became world's most world's most valuable public traded company that is apple google saudi armani armani group and alibaba group and the right answer it is apple apple is the right answer and uh, some additional question number 9 you can write down saudi armeco it is given it is nothing but a oil company of saudi arabia oil company of saudi arabia this company overtaken by uh, apple was overtaken by saudi armeco next question number 10 
which state has got GI tag that is geographical indication tag geographical indication tag for black rice black rice that is check how check how for its special aroma Jammu Kashmir, Manipur, Uttar Pradesh Assam it is given the right answer it is Manipur last week current affairs we have also discussed uh, that is uh, Bangalore Rasagalla got GI tag in the same way Odisha Rasagalla got same GI tag you can remember Darjeeling teas uh, of uh, West Bengal got GI tag so these additionals you can collect from question number 10 thank you very much Please note down Montreal, Canada. Montreal, Canada. Now, in option it is given IOC, that is, stands for International Olympic Committee. International Olympic Committee, BCCI. BCCI stands for Board of Control for Cricket in India. The next comes NADA, that is, National Anti Doping Agency. Next question number 12. Ambala, Ambala Air Force Station is in where it is located. Basically, Ambala Air Force Station, and in bracket it is given home to the first page of Dassel Ruffles. Dassel Ruffles, 
was inducted in this uh, station and where it is located the right answer it is haryana haryana is the right answer next comes question number 13 which country recently built world's first electrified rail tunnel that fit double stack containers options are given haryana india moscow russia beijing china london uk the right answer it is haryana india haryana india one interesting uh, uh, important info you can note down the longest railway routes uh, uh, that is vivek express you can remember and this is the additional questions related to question number 13 next question number 14 name the mobile app of bureau of indian standards that is bis mobile app is a basically a mobile app launched by consumer affairs ministry options are given m support seva digi locker umang bis care the right answer it is bis care so please note down bis care it is launched by consumer affairs minister who is right now consumer affairs minister that is ram bilas paswan note down consumer affairs minister ram bilas paswan bis care what is the basic importance of this bis care mobile app it basically check the authenticity of the iisa marked and hall marked products so type of product which is authenticate or not or isa mark and hall mark products this application will check and uh, it is a very important uh, mobile app launched by consumer affairs minister next option it is given digi locker in option you can see uh, option b it is given digi locker uh, what is that uh, digi locker it is a online service provided by ministry of electronics and it which ministry important digi locker ministry of electronics and it digi locker is also one type of a mobile app it is a basically a mobile app where digitally you can keep it uh, driving license and registration of certificate that is rc and uh, also your uh, um, career certificate academic certificate you can keep it in digital form and it is authenticate and uh, it is genuine and widely accepted in any government organizations so digi locker is one type of a mobile app which is launched by ministry of electronics and it next comes in your option it is given umang option c it is given umang it is also one type of a mobile app the government services all government services you can accessible through this app and uh, what whatever the service it is provided by government like aadhar pan card booking gas cylinders pf account and also you can keep it digi locker these all services provided by government and through this app you can access all these services which is provided by government write down umang stands for umang stands for please note down unified mobile application unified mobile application for new age governance for new age governance so umong stands for unified mobile application for new age governance you can note down next question number 15 the value of six brick six bricks environment minister meeting 2020 this is important the date you can remember year 2020 brick stands for first you note down brick stands for b for brazil r for russia i for india c for china s for south africa again i am speaking b for brazil r for russia i for india c for china s for south africa and where this environment minister meeting 2020 it is uh, held the right answer it is russia Thank you very much.
क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 अकॉर्डिंग टू नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी एनईपी 2020 वोकेशनल एजुकेशन विल बी इंपार्टेड स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम क्लास 5 क्लास 6 क्लास 8 क्लास 10 द राइट आंसर इट इज क्लास 6 नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 Which article of Indian Constitution deals with power of Supreme Court to punish persons violating contempt of court? Article 143, Article 102, Article 129, and Article 226. The right answer it is Article 129. 129. Write down some additional information related to this question. Article 102, as it is given. On your question number option B, Article 102, write down disqualification for membership. Article 102, write down disqualification for membership. Next, Article 226. Article 226, power of High Court, power of High Court to issue certain writs. W R I T S, writs. Power of High Court to issue certain writs. Article 226. In the same way, additional articles you can prepare. Article 76, Attorney General of India. Article 165, Advocate General of various states. Article 21A, Right to Education, regarded as fundamental right. Article 61, Impeachment motion of the President. Article 112, Union Budget. So these are some additionals you can prepare. Question number. Seventeen. Next question number eighteen. Muslim Women Rights Day. Muslim Women's Rights Day that marks the Muslim women free from social evils. That is triple talaq. It is observed on. The right answer it is August one. August one. Here it is given option D. December eleven. Write down UNICEF Day. UNICEF Day. It is observed December eleven. April one. Utkal Divas, Utkal Divas, April one. You can remember October twenty four, United Nations Day, October twenty four. So these are some of the additionals you can prepare from question number eighteen. Next question number nineteen. Which state has highest tiger population? Highest tiger. Remember highest tiger population as per the recent report of. Environment Ministry. This is important. Environment Ministry. Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Uttarakhand, West Bengal. It is given. The right answer. It is Madhya Pradesh. It is Madhya Pradesh. That is five twenty-six tigers. And uh, second uh, Karnataka. That is five twenty-four Karnataka. Then Uttarakhand. It is four. 42, 442 wild cats are there in India. So highest it is tiger population in which state? It is in Madhya Pradesh. Now let's see last number question 20. Which of the following foreign language course has been dropped from new education policy 2020? Russian, Mandarin, Spanish, Polish. And the right answer it is. Mandarin. So this is all about the current affairs class for 27 July to 2 August 2020. We hope you are you are reading, writing, revising the current affairs every day effectively. And uh, with the next week, we will come up some new set of questions. This much for the today's class. Thank you very much. Thank you. Jai Hind.